So we made this giant battleship fly, and in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we did it. Follow the whole journey of how we made this giant battleship and put a person in it, and uh, now how we made it fly, and the playlist linked in the description below. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we made this thing fly, and we'll give you free plans so you can build your own mini RC flying battleship. So we're, we're figuring out how to make the battleship fly, but we don't want to just slap wings on it. We've done kind of a similar configuration on a lot of different models. If you guys don't know, I love steampunk and especially diesel punk, so we're going to kind of take an artistic twist, so even if it doesn't fly, it's going to look really, really cool. Have you ever seen a centipede? How they, they move and how they have the, the legs are going up and down and it's like brrr. I want to make the battleship feel kind of like a centipede in the sky, so we're going to start with dihedral, which is where the wings are pointing up. That will give us stability. Then we'll go down to anhedral, and then we'll go back up to dihedral. So there'll be more dihedral than anhedral. Anhedral is where the, the wings are pointing down, and it's generally inherently unstable. Should make it visually looking awesome, but also every wing is going to have its own air going over it. My hope is if we do get it flying, I want to start chopping the wings shorter and shorter and shorter. I say we, we put it together and just play catch. Once we get it flying, we can make it look cool after that. This looks cool. pretty good right here. I think it'll work. So the first thing that we do is build a chuck glider and throw back and forth oh, to each other. Better. I think it's still a touchdown. We keep on adding weight to the nose until it's tracking straight and level through the air. And this will tell us where the correct center of gravity is, which is our balance point to maintain level flight. At the end of the day, like with controls, uh -huh. like if you can make a thing fly and glide properly, no control on this Right, side. and then you have at least a little bit of control. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh, that is so cool. Ooh. Good grab, JBX. Right <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna check this off the balcony. I feel like this isn't gonna go well, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yes! There's hope! There's hope. Dude, I like it. What's next? Um, we're gonna make a bigger one and make it RC. Um, and kind of have an RC proof of concept before we could step it up to the huge giant one. All right, friends, so before we build our monster battleship upstairs, we want to share with you that we partnered with DJI on their new Why I Fly initiative. Now what this is, is every pilot has a story of what got them into flight, how flight affects them. We want to hear your story, and I definitely know we have a story too. Yeah, we do. And uh, how I started flying was basically my cousin started out on fixed wing, and he kind of dragged me into it. I saw him flying 100 mile an hour planes, and I was like, that's pretty awesome. But that's not even the main reason I enjoy flying RC. It actually brought me and my cousin pretty close. Without RC flying, I don't think me and my cousin would have such a close relationship as we do today. That's actually what got you to go from being a mechanic to being a professional pilot. Correct, right? yeah. And now that I do this as my full-time career, do some chase squad, and I love every second of it. Awesome. Everyone has an awesome story, whether it's connecting with people. I know personally for me, this was the most influential chapter is when I was flying RC with my dad. That's when I learned the benefits of failures, of success, the shoulder time building an airplane, and also the encouragement and the fun and the memories we had afterwards. That was the foundational element of what Flight Test was built around today. Yeah, and I didn't even know that, and that's pretty awesome. And we want to hear from you guys, so definitely use hashtag Hashtag DJI why I fly and we're gonna go through those read those I'm sure DJI wants to read them yeah, the special thing about this is so many new people are getting in the hobby at flight test our goal was to make it approachable whether it's economics time and just really embracing the crash DJI has done a wonderful thing by making their technology approachable this drone industry was really a mystery to a lot of people but now more pilots than ever are able to get into the hobby and share their experiences by sharing your experiences you're not only communicating what other people can experience but also you're communicating all the benefits around aviation in general. Yeah, and, and they do all kinds of cool things. They go from all the way from photography, video, from search and rescue, firefighting, all kinds of things. Yeah, you can make a career in flight. And a matter of fact, I have a personal Mavic, but I don't even have it right now. My pastor friend, Lee, actually went to Peru and he used it as a humanitarian outreach where they could take the DJI Mavic, they could find where waterways were, where erosion areas were, help them with site planning. So it's even changing people's lives. Definitely. So friends, this is your opportunity to share your love of flight by going to any social media platform and using hashtag DJIYIFLY. I know we want to hear your story, DJI wants to hear your story, and you're going to inspire so many people along the way. We got a boat to build. So it has two control surfaces in the back and two in the front, so we kind of have elevons and canards going. So when we pull up elevator, the ones in the back work normally like elevons, um, and then the ones in the front work like canards. So the control surfaces in the front droop down while the ones in the back deflect upwards. So that'll give us upwards pitch in both directions. <laughs> <laughs> and the roll is just uh, 
you know, aileron tied to all four. Cool. Uh, have you have you done this setup before on something? No. <laughs> the kayak in the front was just elevator. So you're putting roll in the front this time. Exactly. Putting everything on all of them. So for the small scale prototype, we're going to be using two CPAC motors to power it and uh, our normal nine gram servos. And what are you working on over here, Jeff? So basically we're going to be making the power pod. So rather than pushing it through the air, we kind of learned with the kayak, anything that gets pushed through the air is pretty inherently unstable. So we're going to make it pull through the air. Uh, for that reason, we're making these power pods that are going to sit out in front of the wing. It's going to be the furthest thing in front of the airplane minus the bow of the boat and that'll pull us through. And then on the back side, we're going to have a vertical fin so the prop glass is going right over that fin. Even if the plane is flying at five miles an hour, the stability should be as if it's flying at the speed of the prop glass going over the fin. So uh, hopefully it'll make it a really stable airplane and look kind of retro too. Nice. Oh, that was just a little face full of Josh, wasn't it? Dude, what do you think about this boat plane? Dude, this boat plane is going to be lit, fam. <laughs> I hope it doesn't catch on fire. First of all, it's got three wings. Well, yeah, three wings, six six wings, whatever you want to call it. It's gonna be amazing, dude. What's your prediction of the test flight of the prototype? The wings look a little bit stubby, right? But see, I'm not a I'm not an aerospace engineer by any means. We've got two good guys on 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 the docket well, here. Well, it's gonna be an aerospace engineer in this <laughs> here. But I mean, he's been building it, so like, I feel like he's got a good head on his shoulders. I just feel like there could be more, more wing area. I don't know. More wing area means more lift, right? Or I don't know. I know, no, I know nothing. Don't ask my opinion. I'm going. Think about this. A boat like this is nothing but a fuselage, yes. right? So let's say let's make it fly. All we'd have to do is just put huge monstrous wings on it, hope they wouldn't snap, and then fly it. Where this is like, we're, we're going into another level where we're yes. making it artistically crazy. You, you pick it up and say, oh, this is heavy, but then you. Kind of toss it and you realize all the all the wing working for you is a whole different story. Yeah. Cool. Time to fly? Time to fly. Are you gonna toss it or are you gonna uh fly? I think we're we're gonna toss it maybe just onto the grass. Okay. Yeah, I think that's Tell me if you feel it. <laughs> feel it a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's like a hovercraft. It's just like- It's like the Ekrano plan. Man, now I feel bad that I said, don't worry about differential because it, it would have been epic. Oh. I feel pretty good about the whole concept of this. I think we just go for it. Can you believe how nice it just kind of scooted across? Yeah, dude. If, if this works, we should put differential on it and we should take it to the lake. It looks like a ground effect vehicle. It does. Dude, it is totally a hovercraft. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I better stop before yeah. I take it off. <laughs> don't, don't. I want to take it off. It's the moment of glory and Anders is inside. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my favorite chapter of flight test period. Just when you think test. about it, we've never been able to build so many crazy, weird contraptions one after the other and having the freedom just to come out and fly it. Yeah. It used to be like, design it, build it, hope it works, pack it up, drive 30 minutes down the road, unpack it, fix the damage from packing it up, and then hope you remembered everything. And then you take it out and fly it. And then it crashes or one thing goes wrong. And then you pack it back up, you drive back to work, it, or it just, it's gone. Here it comes. Oh my God. <laughs> He's so graceful. We're gonna change his name to the gazelle. Yeah. Slow, slow mo in that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say slow mo that, dude. What? Is the hair doing weird stuff? We haven't even described what this is called, but test one? Test one. Test All right, one. you ready? Good luck, man. Good luck. Yeah. We're back home, dude. Let's go in the water. The torque is real, but it's on. Oh my god! What? Ooh. Uh, looks like. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh! We we put rudder on a differential thrust. You can try it just as it is. It's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> that I did not expect it to fly that well. Dude, it was flying like a it was like a leaf blowing in the wind. Yeah. Just doing circles up there. Yeah. Look like honestly it's like, well if it goes in the river, who cares? It's gonna float away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, well, again? Sure, yeah. Good luck, Andrews. Thanks, dude. Oh, oh boy. Oh that looks a lot better. <laughs> Isn't it weird? It is so it weird. It works! <laughs> Why does that work? The boat plane is alive! The boat plane, you feel it too, though? Yeah, and yeah, for get sure. Get a little pitch down and all of a sudden she'll turn for you if you need, but... Yeah. Isn't that weird? This is so odd. 
I think what we need to do is move the wings farther apart. I think it's blanking out the back controls. Yeah, possibly. But it, it works. <laughs> I mean, it's flying respectively it's well. Ship. Yeah. I think CG a little farther forward, yeah. and then the whole rudder slash differential thing. I, I thought this thing was going to be fast. I could have been more wrong. Yeah. Like, this is what we wanted. <laughs> it's so floaty. Yeah. That's weird. All right. I'm going to put her down. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so we're not done with this yet here. We're going to do a couple other things. This is not a ship. This is like a plank with wings. We need to make it look like an epic warship. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to start putting like big steam stacks on there. And that way we see how it behaves. And what do you think? Maybe put differential thrust and Sounds good. Yeah, for sure. Turning. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go do it, man. Let's do it. We have the CG right now, uh, right about where it was on the smaller Chuck Liner model. But the smaller model had eight wings. The slightly larger one has six, so it might be a little bit different. The CG might be um, at a different position. Once we know this flies, we can then go ahead and go bigger with confidence that we know what forces to address. We may have to make this tail bigger. We may not be able to make them smaller, but now we'll be able to really tell how it's gonna fly. So here's the cool thing. You can go from something on the whiteboard to something ready to fly with your friends in under one business day, which is really yeah. cool. So we got everything mocked up. One thing left to do is take it out and fly. What kind of battery are you running that off? Uh, that's a Lumineer 2250 3-cell or 4-cell? 4-cell! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know, man. So differential thrust is when you have multiple motors and you have independent control of those motors so you can make the motors on one side of the plane go faster, which turns the plane using only thrust. Perfect! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I flew it last time. Do you want to fly it or...? You, you, you go for it, man. Yeah, okay. This is going to be cool. Something's going to happen. <laughs> Something right. definitely will happen. So we have differential <laughs> thrust this time. We have, we changed the ailerons. So we have four ailerons, but only one elevator in the front. Right. All right, you ready? Oh, how does it feel? Awesome. Kind of. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. It's awesome, but it has, it has, it has a personality. It's tendency. Huh? Shortening that wing and, and getting counter rotating is definitely a winner. Yeah. Do you feel the smokestacks at all doing anything? Uh, no. No, it feels totally directionally stable. Do you put huh. smoke bombs in the smokestacks? Yes. All right, I'll, I want to take it up and do a flat spin. I want to see that. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Nope. <laughs> it just flies like a boat. Anders, it's your turn. All right. Anders about to 3D this thing. It looks, it looks awesome. It, it looks, okay, that's back. good. Because when you throttle them back, it's not pitching up on it as much anymore, is it? Yeah, no. Oh, look at that. Look at that, dude, it's a flying <laughs> boat, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we got to take this to the water. Yeah, dude, I kind of want to do a roll. That's what I was just going to say. I, I think you. <laughs> it, it looks like a boat, doesn't it? Dude. It really does. It rolls, no problem at all. <laughs> can you do it, can you do it inverted? Uh, let's see. Two point. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> inverted feels really weird. Dude, you just hovered it in. I got hit with a rain cloud. Dude, there's literally one big rain cloud right above us. That's how you do it, dude. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. This to the lake? To the, to, the lake, to the lake, to the lake, to the lake. That boat. thing is fun. It's That's really fun. fun. It is. We have two options. We could put it in the water here uh -huh. and try to take it out of the river, yes. or we could take it to the I lake. I say you should do a couple river runs. In the water. Did I just land it in the water? Yeah, that's what I was oh. thinking too. Fly it, land do some touch and goes, water. and then really? if you happen to land in the water, yes. <laughs> that would be the responsible thing to do. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Just check a bunch. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. It just takes out of all right, so we're gonna try a river landing in the taxi. I'm gonna try not to crash this. Watch the wires. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Woo! Yeah! Come on! Come on. Oh no, it's a it's a kayak flashback. It's kayak all over again. Oh, well I'm also in like a thingy. Oh, You're also nice. you ran aground. Yeah, I can do it. Like it was just surface tension, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay, well. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll make sure the bigger one doesn't do that. How's that sound? Ready? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, that is world. Whee! Rolling circles! Doesn't it roll really well? You think you can thread the needle under that bridge? No. Come on. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, we definitely need bigger canards. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I think it does need more nose weight. Even still, huh? It's dipping and diving, but it's way more controllable. Yeah, yeah. Where are you landing there, Jay Big? Right on you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> over there, maybe? <laughs> Sir. We'll just pick it up once we're over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round one complete, yeah! Let's go! All, All right. right, so the next step here, what we're gonna do, we are going to take what we've learned, balance points, I think we should tweak a little bit. Yeah, behind just the scenes, a little. Kind of get it dialed in aerodynamically, but now we're gonna go big, we're gonna go awesome, and I keep saying the word artistic. I want this thing to be a, a, a piece of art flying through the air, you know, especially the speed it goes. <laughs> oh, I thought, he, <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something really profound. I know! <laughs> Oh my gosh, do we need to re-say any of that no, or do I, we just leave it just like that. this, right? <laughs> <All right. laughs> so this thing flew so well that we just had to throw a sweet paint job on it. It had to make it look like the epic big one, right? Exactly. Now the cool thing about this is the big one had limited success, but this we had much more success. We want you guys to complete that journey. We're going to put the patterns that we use to build this and help you guys hopefully get a start to maybe refine it, make it epic, make it awesome, and make it your own. And if you guys want to follow the whole journey of the battleship, check out this playlist right here. We'll see you next time, friends. He's so graceful. Look at his fluky hair. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even described what this is called, but we're yeah. gonna change his name to the gazelle. Boop! You've been booped. Is the hair doing weird stuff?